Hey, Grand Rising YouTubers. I have already meditated, pre-shuffled the cards. Let's talk. Let's give them something to talk about. I'm about to bring you a message from the Spirit, a message from the ancestors. Spirit, what do the overall energy need to surrender to? Can I get two more cards? One more card. Thank you. The first card is some all some of y'all need to surrender your fear of change. Spirit is saying y'all fear change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for it always. Whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmations. I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. I have faith that all is well. You need to repeat the affirmation three times. So you need to surrender your fear of change. Sometimes change is not bad. Sometimes change is good. The second message, your ancestors and spirit is saying, surrender the idea you can fix someone. Remember, I've always said this, you have to choose your fights. You cannot fix something that does not want to be fixed. You cannot heal everybody because sometimes you interfere with people's karma. It is time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to it doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. That's what I was saying about the karma. If the mirror is broke, you can't fix a broken mirror. You have to get a new one. You can't leave you can leave the horse to water, but you can't make it drink. Some of y'all are trying to stay barren. Sometimes y'all trying to stay in a relationship that's dead. There's no resuscitation. It's, it's cold. There's no bringing it back. Y'all asking for healing of relationship. God can heal it by ending it. And God can heal it by bringing y'all closer together. So you need to surrender the idea you can... The, surrender the idea you can fix someone. The last one, y'all need to surrender to the beauty of the natural world. Take a relaxing break and spend time in nature. Replenish yourself by feeling the beauty and the ecstasy there. Y'all need to connect to your ancestors. Your ancestors are rooted down in there. You have to be that tree of life. So you have to go outside and ground and imagine your feet turn into roots and you ground it into that tree. We spoke upon this yesterday. Also, Spirit was dealing with me. I've been up since 3 this morning. They want me to go over the Orishas that's affiliated with the um, zodiac signs. In your first house, which is ruled by Aries. Everybody knows Aries is the first zodiac in everything. So the first house of war that is ruled by Ogun. Ogun is ruled by Aries and Mars. The second house is Taurus, Oshun. This is a house of possessions. Sometimes Taurus can be possessive over things, material things, people, whatever. It's a house of worldly possession, also money and stuff. It is ruled by Oshun, Taurus, and Venus. Your third house is communication, which breaks down to Ebehe, which means Gemini, and is ruled by Mercury. The fourth house is surrounding your home life, okay? This is uh, Yemi, Cancer, and Moon. Your fifth house is uh, creativity and pleasure. Orumila, this is Leo, the sun. Your sixth house is healthy work service. It's Ishu, Virgo, Mercury. Your seventh house is represent partnership, marriage, personal transformation. This is ruled by Oba, Libra, Venus. Your A house is transformation, death, sex, rebirth. That is Oya, Scorpio, Pluto, Mars. Your now ninth house is philosophy, Obatala, which is Sagittarius, Jupiter. Your tenth house is public life, sacral social status is Babalu Ai, Capricorn, Saturn. Your eleventh house is friends and membership, like social gatherings and stuff like this. This is Shango, Aquarius, Uranus. Your 12th house of self, undoing, and comfort is Olokun, Pisces, Neptune. So the 12 zodiac signs is also connected to the Orishas. Talk to me, spirit. What messages do you have for them today, ancestors and spirit guides?
bottom of the deck, we have the two of onks coming together in a relationship. It can be spiritual, it can be loving, it can be business. It could be becoming a relationship with your ancestors, business partner, or the love like your demigod or demigoddess. The first card out is the world card, Jib. Jib is letting you know that the dead do not talk to the living. You have one foot in the spiritual realm and you have one foot in the human realm. Also, this is a cycle ending. Tomorrow is the solar eclipse. So y'all going to be going through a whole new thing. Once again, some spiritual people are going to be affected more than others. It depends on where um, it is in your house. Okay? They want you to take that leap of faith. Some of y'all are going to meet a Taurus, a bull. Taurus is ruled by Oshun. So if you are feeling with Oshun, you might feel her presence uh, stronger. Because she's the house of money and possession. Like I said, earthly possessions. That's what she's over. You have the five of scarabs. Some of y'all are right now feeling like you're confused. You don't know what you're doing. Um, you don't have no guidance. Well, after this, you're going to have the guidance that you need. You're going to have spiritual uh, guys coming to you stronger. Some of y'all are going to be hearing a name. You're like, what is, who is this name? Why am I thinking of this name? That is your name of your spirit guy. A lot of y'all are going to start getting closer and closer. Like I said, y'all need to uh, meditate and have your feet grounded in there because y'all are going to go through stuff. No more feeling left alone because they're about to make their presence known. You have the eight of swords. They're trying to tell you to trust them. Take the blinders off your eyes and just follow the correct path. You're not, they're not going to lead you wrong. You have to identify anything you feel, see, or you sense a presence or smell. You have to ask for a name because right now, because Saturn is in retrograde, that has to do with your dark side. You're going to deal with a lot of trickster spirits. So you have to start asking them to identify themselves. Once again, you have this yesterday, abundance, money is all around you. Once again, she has the red, which means root chakra, grounding, getting to know yourself. This is an empress card. She's full of abundance, fertility. If you're trying to conceive, you will be conceiving. Y'all have to get connected to the ankh. The ankh means life, rebirth, okay? Then you have the ten of scepters. This is uh, the Ten of Swords, y'all. Something is ending in your life, and it was right under the World Card because this is ending and something new is starting to happen. You had the Ten of Scepters. You're going to take, some of y'all are going to be moving out of a domestic violence relationship. And Spirit said, you're only going to take the things that's necessary. So if you have children, you're only going to take the things that's necessary for your from you and your children, and y'all going to move in silence. Help is going to help. God is going to help you lead the situation. Under the five of scarabs, like I said, you feeling lost or whatever. You have the three of unks right under the five of scarabs. It's because you no longer will be left in the cold. Your ancestors and your spirit guides are going to lead you to people like me and other people to spiritually guide you on this spiritual journey. You're going to start uh, receiving and uh, talking to more like-minded people. Y'all going to think the same, speak the same. It's like you're not going to feel like stupid or crazy because you're about to meet like-minded people. Also, Spirit is saying some of y'all that's stuck in poverty, y'all changing, y'all starting to cut cords, y'all about to walk into y'all money. Some of y'all starting to receive y'all money now, some now, so it's more is coming, and some is about to start getting their money. So there is a lot of money. Also, whoever's moving, you're going to get a proof of that house, that car. Y'all going to start traveling. You're going to start celebrating because people are no longer sleeping on you. You're no longer feeling like, don't nobody, I got words to say, and ain't nobody paying attention. Now is your time to shine because as the, as the eclipse, like I said, in the dark, you plan it. And then we come back up, you're growing. So you're going to be celebrating. Under the Eight of Swords, you had the Two of Scarabs. Some of y'all are going to have a motion uh, decision about leaving a domestic partner. Leaving a domestic partner. Leaving a job. Leaving family members. Some of y'all don't want to lose your family because this is all you got. But sometimes you have to leave the nest. Some of y'all are going to move to another state away from your family so y'all can grow. Some of y'all are going to be moving from a living situation so you can grow. So so y'all getting y'all wings. It's time for y'all to fly. So they're pushing you out of the nest. A lot of y'all, like I said, y'all finances is juggling. So right now your money is going to come in. And you're going to start taking care of those bills and you're going to have money left over for you to splurge and spend. A lot of y'all going to start traveling because y'all have money to travel now. 
Some of y'all also, they saying some of y'all are in a third party relationship. Y'all understand this woman's married, this man's married, and it's time that your ancestors about to end that. So this is going to be hurtful for you because he promised you his hand, but he's lying. He's not leaving his wife or she's not leaving her husband. So it was just a pleasure principle. Oh, oh. So that's all it was. It was just a fuck thing, a sex thing. Right under the abundance, you had the queen of scepters. Ruling, speaking your truth, verbally expressing yourself, setting boundaries, letting the world know that your life matters, standing up for what you believe in, taking back your throne and your power. That is spirit. That is what spirit is saying. Which one? Yes. Can I get three cards for them? What messages do you have for them that they need to know? Spirit is saying y'all have been manifesting something. Y'all have been manifesting something. Spirit is saying, like I said, it's going to start coming in this month, next month. For on, on whatever you manifesting, no, it's not going to be a married man. Know that you not whoever is manifesting for this man to divorce his wife. That's not going to happen. Come on, thou shall not commit adultery. They will not go against the Ten Commandments to let you know. So therefore, that fornication. If you married messing around with a married man or married woman, that's about to end. If you asking for a man to divorce his wife or husband, that's not going to happen, because they don't they don't go against this. There's laws. Okay, there's laws that they have to abide as above, so below. But if other than that, whatever you asking for, do not give up. You're about to get it. Be careful of a dark elderly man. Someone's going to meet someone that's a scammer. He's going to come in your inbox and say he's a Babalo. Spirit is saying, mm -mm. a Babalo priest. Synthetia, Ifa, whatever. You go to them. They don't come to you. Okay? They don't. That's a scam. And a lot of y'all... Or getting out in there and they asking you to pay money and stuff. Don't fall for that. Spirit is saying don't. You have someone communicating. Someone, you owe someone communication. Call it soon. Some of y'all have not spoken to your mom. Because you and your mom fell out. Y'all need to break that. Because time, life, time is not promised. You can die tomorrow. She can die tomorrow. Anything can happen. You owe someone communication. Tomorrow is never promised. Y'all need to call. Even to say was, I'm just checking on you. I don't want it. If you have to make it short, just call. If you got a text, whatever, you need to do that. A stranger will ask you out on a date or a social thing. Spirit is saying, yes, they, your ancestors did this. So they saying, go ahead and do it. Live your own life. This is somebody that's going to have that emotional decision that y'all going to move from a different state from your family. And you don't want to be far from your brother, your uncle, your mother, your father, whatever. You have to go. It's time to leave the nest so you can prosper. You're not going to meet the man or the woman that you're supposed to be with in your state. Half the time, your soulmate is not in the state where you are. Sometimes they will travel to you or you can travel to them. A woman is going to tell you a lie that will hurt you. That's because someone's in a third-party situation. And your so-called best friend, both of y'all just don't know it, but y'all sleeping with the same man. Y'all both sleeping with the enemy. And he's married. So he's like, he makes time for her. He makes time for you. And it's funny. She said, man, he ain't good for you. You need to leave him alone. It's because she wants him. You see what I'm saying? Y'all got to start using your intellect. You have three brains. This. Your heart and your stomach. You have to. They all combine together. Y'all have to start using y'all intuition. Some of y'all are just plain stupid as fuck. And I'm not trying to be mean, but y'all think dick and pussy is everything. Okay? It's not. God just did that to multiply the earth. Okay? Y'all be blessed. Peace. Namaste. I see y'all.